Okay, in this video, I'm taking a look at a dual camera endoscope. So, check out a couple of detailed images and then we'll take a closer look. Alright, so we're looking at this dual camera endoscope. First, let me show you what's included, and then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Alright, so you have a micro USB charging cable. You have a SD card included, 32 gig. It supports up to 128 gig. This is the little case that it comes in. I've already got it installed in the actual unit. You have a hook and magnet that can be attached on the end so if you are navigating through some area where you need to uh, grab hold of something metal with the magnet or hook onto something with a little hook, you can do that. And it just slides right on the end where the camera is. And you just slide that on there and then you can use those little tools. You have a little user manual. There you go. So, in case you need any information. And this is the box that it arrives in. And then we have the unit itself. So, this is dual camera. So you have one in the front, front facing, and one on the side. It's 1080p, so it actually looks really nice and clear. You have a, I believe it's 4.5 inch screen here. And this is going to take... Uh, again up to 128 gigs as far as the micro SD which is right here it's a little slot on the other side you have your brightness adjustment for your LED and you have your power then on the bottom of the unit you have uh, like a menu and a back button a photo and video button so if you uh, short press it's photo if you long press it's video you have an OK button you have your camera adjustment button and then you have your navigation uh, through your menu or you can rotate the camera with your up and down buttons okay so this is sixteen and a half feet as far as the cable goes obviously water should not be a problem you can you know, get that in there really good uh, this is a non removable uh, cable some do have removal this does not your charging port is right there this thing will run for about five hours, which is really nice. It does have a nice uh, rubbery grip right there on the sides, so it's easy to hold on to. It's not going to slip. And these are very useful items, obviously, for a multitude of reasons. Uh, one of the biggest reasons probably that I have is related to my father. Uh, one of his hobbies slash work, I guess, if you want to call it that, since he does teach classes. But he does scuba diving, which means you need to uh, examine tanks and different things periodically so this gives you that option and again you have the camera here on the side and on the top so it's pretty cool LED lights so let me turn this on real quick it takes a moment to start up you can see right there all right and as of right now you can see it's in dual screen or dual camera mode so you can see both cameras simultaneously but if you push the button here you can see it switch so it'll be like a side camera and a front, front camera uh, full screen view or you can do the split screen and you can look at both and the brightness adjustment let me turn this around here so you can see you can pretty much turn them all the way off or go to maximum brightness really whatever you need so just to give you an idea of what this looks like let's pretend I like this because it has a lot of texture on the inside it's just a little pool noodle but let's pretend this is a pipe like a you know clog of some sort that needs to be investigated and of course you would just uh, stick that inside there so let me go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like on the camera So you can see, I'm going to 
adjust the brightness. So if I want to go all the way down or back up, and I can switch between cameras. Obviously, it's not going to look very different in there. I do like the dual mode, though. But yeah, it gives you an idea of what to expect. And of course, if we uh, press this button, we can get a real quick snapshot. And if we press and hold, we should be able to get a video. And you see the record right there. Push it again. That stops it. All right. Now, you can either pull the... SD card and put it in your computer or wherever, or if you push this uh, this button here, give you a menu option, and you got photo. I hit OK, then I can look at the photo that I just took. If I back out, go back there, navigate to video with the up and down button, hit OK then I can actually watch the video. So, yeah. I think it's pretty cool to have this option. Very handy tool. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much all there is to it. Operation is extremely easy. When I turn it off, you can see it stays on, powers off. So, there you go. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'll leave a link below if you want to find out more, but I just think these are very convenient uh, when necessary to have. So maybe something useful to you. Check out the link below. Thanks for watching.